Yeah, 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 it's about that time. Hope you tuned in as we go live. Got bad gal, Tanya, Georgie, and Skyline. Black, hold it down for the guys. So get some real shit, grab a cup, catch a vibe. Every Sunday you're seven, we getting you baptized. Giving out all these lessons or facts, no lies. Supporting the movement that caps on the rise. I got that brown, holy water wherever I go. Make sure you like, share, comment, then follow. Talk, drink, share the link. Don't forget to let us know. Good evening, good evening. Welcome to another edition of Brown Holy Water. This is your boy, Handsome Lie in the building. Hope everybody's <laughs> in good spirits. Uh, let me have my team introduce themselves. Y'all sure already know who they are, but let them get it. Let's go. Y'all already know what it is. Your boy, Black Success, GMC Rolex, when I'm both flex. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's your favorite time, boy, Danny, a.k.a. Georgie. It's Makisha by Gail Tanya. That shit is getting dry and dry. I know, right? <laughs> like, I don't know. Energy, I don't want to say I'm the best. And, you know, the everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best Say you're the baddest or something, man. Somebody you gotta, I got to work on it. I got to. Definitely got to. Um, it's going to be a long, interesting show today, so we're going to start off real quick. We're going to jump right into everything. First topic, he or she is just not into you. <laughs> so y'all should already know September. It's like cuffing season. Cuffing season. <laughs> Fall it's weather. Dry. Back to school, find a boo type shit. This is the show to try to help you figure out if he or she is that into you. You know, so what are the signs that a person is not interested? I'm going to start with the single one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Because we heard a lot earlier today. You know, a lot of people out here are single by choice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're shutting in, down. Yeah. You be shutting down people you friend zone because you, you got the choice. That's what you're doing. I'm dude. friend zone mommy, actually. There you go. So Friend zone mommy. What are some of the signs that you show to a person that you're just not interested? Um. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't respond to texts, certain specific texts, or... I might take a while to text back, um, or I might not text back. Mm. So, um, no I, response is a big response. Yes. No. no. Mm. If no somebody doesn't respond to me, no yeah. message is a message. Yes. No. Message is a message. Yes. Hey, that y'all. <laughs> um, um, I don't know. I can't think right now because it just naturally like flows. I mean, I already have in my head that your friend zone, so. It's like if you try to if you try to cross a boundary or something like that, I'ma just cut it off. Sometimes I could be blunt and, you know, let you know what it is and sometimes I just don't respond. Mm. Okay. Black. Uh I ain't, I, I knew you for a long time. You've been on the other end a lot of times, man. <laughs> <laughs> I really, like, I don't know if she like me or not. I just could Nah, you know, what? I I usually I usually could tell. If a chick wanna friend zone me, the way she hugged me. What? Because yeah, hugs hugs is a big That's yo, true. Like if she if she press a titty or like yeah. she, oh, like she back hugs, the away. Away. hugs is a big thing. Break you can down. always tell down, where you man. at. If she don't really fuck with you like that, she'll give you the side to side hug. <laughs> the one side on the side. Yeah, the, the side shoulder to side with yeah, the shoulder. The hey, hey, what's going on? You know what I mean? If she cool with you, but she don't want you to get the wrong impression. She'll give you the uh the pelvic the pelvic tilt tilt back. <laughs> she'll, she'll like pat your little back and shit, and she'll like tap you like this and shit. But if she fucks with you, or if she wants you to know that, you know, if ever you did want to explore that you can, 
should give you the squeeze that that little you know bring that <laughs> yeah bring it bring it bring it bring it towards you and let, and let the titties <laughs> hold on your chest for like a second and if she hold it for like a does, little does the hand placement like it, it makes a difference hand placement is high make a difference. low like what you think you see your yours if she allow you to go low like oh, yeah, not yeah, like not the on waist. the butt but right on that little curve That's right big. right where the tramp stamp is if she allow your hands <laughs> to go there if your hands could go there when you when you hug her Boy, shoot and that shit. And she don't say nothing. Shot. That's true. Shoot that's that true. Shot. That's shoot true. Shot. That's true. Reggie yeah, Miller on her. Yeah, you hug it, she pushes up to the shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what you doing, <laughs> bro? She redirect you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what you doing, bro? If she Just G- a hug, my nigga. <laughs> GPS you and shit, then you know, it's kind of different. You know what I mean? That's how I, I get to figure it out. I agree. I'm a, about I, I do tie hugs. Bad girl. I'm an energy girl. Like, energy don't lie. Energy don't lie. Like, even through text, you feel it. Like if I'm if I'm into you and you into me, like we try to make things work. Like the jokes be genuine. You be bouncing off each other, be nice and sincere. You get up in the morning, don't feel annoyed and shit. But you know, you talking to somebody, the conversation just gets dry. You can tell the person's not into it. That's energy, right there. Is lack of energy. The person's not into you. Or let's say we trying to hook up and meet up and. All right, let's say we work in adults, maybe kids involved, kids not involved, or whatever. We got school or whatever. And, but I want to see you. Like, I'm going to try to find some way, some time, even if you can meet up for like an hour, half hour, something. Mm-hmm. If I'm trying my best, like, oh no, all right, I got to get out of class, expect your time, I can come over here, whatever, whatever, whatever. And the person's like, no, nah, no, nah, don't worry about all that. I don't want you to put yourself through that stress. All right, that's nice, but you do that shit like, Five weeks in a row? <laughs> You're not trying to put me through that stretch five weeks in a row? Five weeks you can't even see for an hour? Yes, yeah, I'm that's saying. Nice. Like, that's that's definitely, the energy is gone. It's not there. Like, that's getting curved. That's, that's, that's the curve. Like, if I'm if I'm bending over backwards to show you, all right, I want to spend some time with you, even if it's a short space of time, and you still not finding time for that, ain't no adult realistically that fucking busy. Oh, ain't man. no adult. Motherfuckers rush home to lay on their bed. You yeah. understand? That's so don't tell me you're rushing home to cook and clean and <laughs> cook and clean a wipe and shit and then do homework from like six weeks back and write that six page essay. That shit not happening. You go home to lay your ass on and watch power and order Uber Eats, motherfucker. If you like me, you can take a double and all that and come and see me. So I'm an energy person. Like even the hug is an energy. Like like black said the person mm-hmm. your energy. Yeah, you gotta give me a give me a hit, like, like give you some titties problem. that's mad frontal or a full on energy, son. <laughs> but also if like the energy is right, but you can have that good energy and still friend zone a nigga or still friend zone nah, a girl. Nah, you know we we can I, pick it I up. I can laugh, joke with somebody nah. and have a great time. Laughing but and still joking is friend one zone. thing. Laughing and joking is one thing. We could all tell when we laugh and joking is friends. But you you always pick up that extra laugh, that extra smirk, that extra smile, that extra eye connection when some. Somebody wants to fuck with you. That's all energy. You Joke, gotta be joking to get you the opportunity, though. Yes. Joking, joking can joking open, can up, open windows. up If you get joking them laughing, that's why I'm funny. You get them laughing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dog, dog, you gonna be hiding in life for real. <laughs> Chicks love the laugh. They love hookah and laughing. You can do both of those, motherfucker. You are on this the side. Nigga hookah. He love hookah. <laughs> they love. I do. I do. I do. I'm every Friday. So. I'm an energy girl, man. Energy don't lie. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I can't really talk about this. Here we go. <laughs> so he's going to do that. I swear to God, he do that to us all the fucking time. I I, you do that to us all the time. I, you have everybody know, answer, like, then you don't answer. Yeah, I, I don't. I How you don't know, but you ask the question? I, that's, that's crazy. I was just curious. <laughs> <laughs> just now, I'm with you. Like, I'm on, like, if text messages, is, if I text you at 8 o'clock on some good morning, and you hit me like at nine o'clock PM. Yeah, it's a dub. Yeah, dub. I'm already about to dub you already. Like I don't care how busy I was you are. Busy. You should have. Nah, saw your notification. Every, exactly, everybody got man. their phone in their hand. Yep. Or, if, or if I'm more direct, if I ask you something, you dub my whole question. I'm already feeling like you were interested or some shit. I act. I'm like, yo, you busy or something right now? I ask that shit sometimes just to see you. I'm like, yeah, I'm busy. Call me later. Hit me later. I ain't gonna hit you later. That shit over. You better hit me because right. if you busy, hit me. Okay. I don't know when you're not busy. Okay, I'll so do hit that. me when but, you're not busy. Then. But you, but you gotta understand. A lot of people are, a lot of people are juggling multiple people. Yeah. So wh- what it is is that you you might not be the funniest or the most entertaining motherfucker that day. So she gonna pay more. <laughs> she attention. gotta give you a shot first. She gonna she gonna, she gonna pay the, more attention to the good morning. To the na- na- yeah, that's true. She but the one that she wants the good yeah, morning taste and it, from. And it, and it depends on that's the day fact. of the week. You understand? Because if you hit a motherfucker Friday, that's 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 date night. That's national date night <laughs> you every start week eight in the morning. Yeah, so, early. So, so you wake up to get Friday, that date. The motherfucking lame motherfucker tech 
text her, that's a dub. You understand? Then the motherfucker that got the car, text her, she like, yeah, I am trying to travel. I want to go to this party all the way over there. <laughs> the motherfucker that actually got the money, hit her. You understand? So she like, damn, all right, I don't got to pay for relate, hookah. Man. I don't got to pay for drinks. You understand? So it depends what role are you playing. You might be texting someone that's like, you can't help what she, her needs for that time frame or whatever. Nah, so you text yourself, somebody and, and they don't respond, but you see they active on social media. That's a sign they not interested. Of course <laughs> not. But that's 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 the sign, motherfucker. No, it's not. That's some no people, mother. Some if, listen, first of all, if I text you, though. if I text you and you don't answer, and then I see you on social media, you type? yes, I'm tired. <laughs> yes. Like, what no, do you mean? You like block. you clearly no. seen my text message. So like, it's because your phone is in your No, I don't want to hear that. Your text messages come through. My text messages don't come through. I get the notification, but they don't come through. So I don't want to hear that. You scroll. You see a text coming to the top, of your, the top of your screen, but you still scrolling. That should probably be there 15 minutes. You still already scrolling to your media. I've generally missed text, but for yeah. the most, for the most part. But don't do that to me though. I don't care. I ain't. For the most part, <laughs> if I text you, and you on any form of social media, I mean you adult. Do what you want to do, but you are a dub after that. You are official wow. fucking dub. People make you time are, for whatever you they want to make time for. You are a zaddy. Wow. <laughs> Cookie don't like nothing when you double her text. <laughs> he, he fuck with me like that, too. He would see me texting him and then go, go on for Facebook and just, just post shit just to fuck with me. Gotta keep you humble, Just baby. to fuck with <laughs> me. Gotta to keep you humble, baby. All right, we get to the next part. Is this question, because you hear this shit all the time, right? And this is like a, one of the most confusing things. In a, like a situation ship or I guess getting to know somebody, they hit you with the I'm not looking for a relationship right now. Does mm. that statement mean that they're not into you or they're really just not looking for the relationship but we still wanna get to know you type shit? Mm. I'm gonna go last on this one. I got Man, some shit to, to me, let me see, I cause I, I really didn't answer off the last one. I think that it's a confusing question. It could be genuine. And it could be a curve also. You know, sometimes a person know who they want to fuck with and it's just not you. So they're not looking for a relationship, not with you. Or it could be a person that's just coming out of something and it's like, I could be cool with you, but I'm really I'm really not going to get in a relationship. Like, you ain't going to hear about me getting into a relationship with nobody. You know what I'm saying? So don't get your little heart broken up to thinking that I'm just trying to curb you or whatever. Because it's a real genuine thing. I'm not ready to play that boyfriend or man to you. Or to anybody right now. So that's my take on that. But let's go back. Let's start with you right now. Black said he called dibs on last. So yeah. <laughs> let's, I'm, let's get all the good points out before I'm not go. into relationships. <laughs> <asshole. laughs> I think um, just kind of like what you said, it really depends on where the person is. Like if I know you just came out of a relationship, that could be very, very, very true. Not for nothing. I don't want to jump into a relationship with somebody who's still damaged anyway. So I wouldn't even look for one. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to be with somebody who I know just came out of something. You got a lot of shit to fucking deal with before you move on to me. And I don't want that. So I don't. If somebody tell me that, I'd be like, cool. I don't even want one anyway. But if you've been single for a little minute now and you got a lot of shit going for you, you know, and I know once you're single and you 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 look good and you're doing good, people going to want you. Don't tell me nobody fucking wants you. And nine and a half out of ten times, you are talking to more than one people. So if you tell me that and I know, yeah, I, I've been around you enough to know that there's certain things that you show me that you want to be in a relationship. Like, you want to come home to somebody cooking for you. You want to, you want your date nights. You want your regular nights. How you talk about vacation and stuff. And you 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 giving me these signs that I know you want somebody in your life. But you come and hit me with the, I don't want relationship right now. That's a curve for me. And, like, I want it, but just not with you, bitch. So. That's how you're going to take it? That's how I'm going to take it. It depends on the time frame. If you've been single for, like, about... Two years. But you can't tell somebody when they ready? True. But like I'm saying, if I'm around you and we dating and you give me certain vibes, like we spend, people, people can't hide their true, true, their true intentions and feelings. There are people who really do want somebody to come home and sleep with them every single fucking night. So if you were telling me, okay, till you get off work, uh, come over. And I had somebody do that shit to me. Like, come over every fucking night I'm by son's house. Sleeping. I can't, he can't sleep unless I fucking sleep. And you do all that shit. And then he's like, I'm like, well, what we fucking doing? He's like, you know what? I don't want a relationship right now. So why I got to come over and sleep at your house every fucking night? Why am I doing that? Because of, you want relationship? If you allow him, you're going to no do relationship. It. Fuck out of here. No. That's, that's how life is. So what? He's scum. <laughs> Why is he scum? Uh, he <laughs> he tell you the truth. We don't put it on the table. I mean, he it's, put it on the table because so. his actions and his words didn't match. That's why it's bullshit. But that's a lot of dudes. Just because. 
That's a lot of dudes' wait, wait, actions wait. and just yeah. because a, a nigga like to sleep with somebody at night, it's women don't mean him too. You're absolutely like, right. Listen, he don't mean you want a relationship. Listen, if you're single and you need somebody to sleep next to you, fucking night, don't choose one person. You you put them put four bitches in rotation. All right. Safe. Put four bitches in rotation. So you telling don't, him to be a hoe? Be a fucking hoe, but don't no. do relationship shit. And then say, I don't want a relationship. That's not true. Date four motherfuckers. Rotate I them bitches. Make me Tuesday and Thursday. So I'm going to take my days of the week. I can't go on a date. I can't enjoy spending time with you just because I don't want to be in a relationship. If you can't. I have to if give you, you that title because the take me to no, 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 shit. No, 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 no. You can't want relationship shit and not a relationship. Going that's on you date, can. no. Going on no. dates and stuff like that doesn't. That's not relationship, that's relationship shit. That's get, that's getting to know somebody. That's you. You go like you. You could go out with your friends and stuff like that. But it, what she's trying to say they, is, don't be they, out here cuddling, smelling her neck every don't night smell my and neck neck every stuff. night, and then you don't want a relationship. That makes no sense. Like if it you don't, don't want to deal sense. with just one person, like. All right, exclusively, if you don't want, if you don't want to be exclusive, don't do exclusive wow, shit. But I don't, like you. Ex- don't expect exclusive shit. And then when I'm like, I'm confused as fuck because I, I, after that, he ain't like, He ain't never tell you not to fuck stop, with nobody. But stop. That's your Why fault. Why men love doing that? But if shit. you like somebody, you just said, but I like you. you but if you like somebody or whatever, you, I can like you. Right, you can still on. fuck somebody else. You want me to sleep next to you every single fucking night, but you okay me fucking somebody else? You right, are you a walking easy, contradiction, no, my nigga. No, you could easily like, no, I'm not you coming. Are, I can't get mad. That's true. I'm, you're not my girl. If you're like, you no, I'm not coming today. You're right. Listen, you are. If you say, listen, I'm not coming today. I can't get mad at you. You're not my girl. Listen, light skin. Don't, if I, my if thing I is ask this you thing. and you agree to doing it, we're doing it together. You'd be like, nah, I'm sure. But I'm that's good on relationship that. shit. But that listen, is, but if you tell me no adults. and I get mad, like, oh, no, no, then you're like, nigga, you're not my man. Then I can be like, oh, shit. No, you see, that's, 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 that's when we get into much unnecessary mean? conflict. Like, no, that's that's, that's it. Because now you're, you're crossing boundaries at the end of the day. Yes, there is boundaries. Yes, there is boundaries. Because then if he or she catches feelings, now what? So what? It takes two. It takes two. But my thing is, there's boundaries. You have to have boundaries. If you're not my girl, Girl, you tell me no, I can't get mad. Now, if he go off and get mad, then I'm like, listen, you're not even my man. Then I'm like, oh shit, you're right. And that's fine, but the reason I'm, I would get mad is because of the things you're doing with me is giving painting a certain picture. I know motherfuckers who took bitches to see their family. Now, not 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 you do the you make your walk of shame on mommies in the kitchen type of thing. I'm mm. talking about niggas took their took girls to the family barbecue. This is my mom and my sister and whatever. And so? she's sleeping, stop. She's sleeping there every night, come picking her up from work, dates in the regular, all of a sudden, I don't want some right now. Get the fuck out of here. If you don't want something, yeah, act like crazy. it. That's Get crazy. you that's five so bitches. A, Listen, okay, focus friend. on me. Focus on me. I can't have Get you five <laughs> women. Was? Put that's them a, in the No, you can't do that. Like, that's cool. like you Y'all can't crazy. do that. You know you yeah, have I'll your... let you go. No, because you... let you go, because she was talking. No, I can't. No, I can't you have you your now. own little, like... I have nothing. Yes, like, you do, because you do this to us make, all the time. I can't be friends with... I can't be friends with a female that I had sex with. I like kicking it with. She can't meet my moms and just hang out with me. But listen, it takes what? two to tangle. Like, I ain't meeting your family or whatever. You meet my family so fucking what? There's boundaries, mm-hmm. though. What boundaries? For me, you, what do you, you mean with boundaries? You're both single, right? All right, so if you're single, like, first of all, there is tr- you're doing there's relationship shit. You're sending off the wrong message. Like, I'm not bringing somebody to meet my my parents, and we're just friends. But if you do all that, she thinks she's exactly. in Exactly. You know that's how you fall into no, one. that's why you need to stop assuming that you're that's in a relationship. That's not assuming. That's Nobody assumes. Assume they be in a relationship with niggas. No. They never was in a relationship. But, like, black ass Just because you meet my like we were saying last week, if you what? give Nobody's all the regular the bitches everything, what do you give her? Yeah. Exactly. What's the regular bitches? Why are you making you the regular though? Why are you saying like regular? You can't be the best you. 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 What's lying about just not making you the best you? But no, but it doesn't. There's boundaries. Yeah, you wilding out. What are you talking about? What it is is that feelings. He's acting dumb. You know. Feelings get involved, bro. If you sleep with somebody every freaking night, okay. you nice. start to invest in them. You're, you're you That's... know, spending time. You're doing things. You're meeting the parents, the family. The family know your name, and then you hit them with the, I'm not looking for nothing right now. Your friend. You're getting nah, in the way of their you know opportunities. You know what? That's now, what I'm you're not, doing. I'm yes, a, you I'm are. Tell you what it is. First of all, oh, time inve- all right, oh. but time invested means that you're taking time out. You're taking time out. out of, I'm taking time out of my schedule to give yourself. to you. It don't matter whether you're enjoying yourself. So my thing is this. If I'm taking time out and I'm doing girlfriend things with you or something like that, if that's the case, then... 
eventually I'm going to want to be your girlfriend because you're taking somebody else's space because I can be acting like a girlfriend to somebody else who actually want to be my boyfriend. So the person's still wrong in the beginning. He tell you I'm not looking for a relationship. He telling you in the beginning. Which I still do, girlfriend. But my thing shit. is, if you but look, he's at, told you already. But if you're he not, told you but already. my thing, you can't do. But this is what, what I'm mean, saying. This is the that. problem right here. No problem. If you're telling somebody that you don't want a relationship in the beginning, and both of y'all agree that y'all don't want relationships, then y'all have to set boundaries so that y'all don't even feel like y'all want to be in relation in exactly. a relationship. That's you not can't act like you're is, in a relationship. What it is, though, act, what friend. it is, though, this 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 is very important. Go black. What ends up what end up happening is that a lot of people, you see. When you play, when you play dice, right? <laughs> it's only analogy. six points on a Trying die, to to right? It's only six points, and a lot of people, even when they roll a five, they want to try to get the head crack. They want to try to roll a six. So when people say, "I'm not looking for nothing right now," they might look at you as a four, five, or even maybe even a three, and they might feel like, you know what? I I think I could get a six. So I want to I want to hold out. People are saying it's a hold out. For something that they believe is a six. And that's wrong. Because that same person usually a month or two later be in a fucking relationship. Or mm-hmm. six months later be in mm-hmm. a fucking relationship. Be doing some of the things mm-hmm. that they told you no. They told you now nah, we can't go to a movie. We can't go to my mom barbecue. You true. can't go to my mom house. And mm-hmm. now six months later you see him with freaking Suzanne everywhere. Six God months damn. And being a stepdad. And being a motherfucking stepdad. Listen bro. Listen bro. You not you not gonna lease me and get a car back whenever you're ready. Now Facts. get the fuck out of here. Facts. There's no lease in Black Success. You gotta yeah. buy. This is a <laughs> mortgage. This is that a mortgage. That has nothing to do no, with I'm being not, emotional. Not emotional. That has nothing. What to You wasting is, my time. Listen, how you wasting time? You listen, time listen you my G, my G. Because I'm nobody got time. When you grow, you don't have time to just have fun. Like no, do. shit starts. Listen, you gotta start putting shit in order. If you put yourself in that position, if he tell you from the beginning, I'm not looking for a relationship, you still choose to deal with him. But it could be a. You all wasting your own time. But that's not what the question was. You keep saying yes. That's not what the question. The question no, was, the what question do, what, was. Go ahead. If go ahead. Say, <laughs> the question. I'm not looking the, for a relationship. The question right was. Now. Yeah, and when somebody so, say, when somebody say, say that, no, no, but when somebody say that, look, you could be treated like two things: rent or mortgage. Mm. I'm not rent, my guy. <laughs> You're not gonna give me that. You're Listen, not gonna man. give me the. I'm not looking for nothing right now. No, black success is mortgage. You got 30 years. Let's go. <laughs> you ain't got 30 years. It's There's over. no nigga right here. There's no nigga in the world. If he meet a bad chick, right? And she tell him, like, listen, I'm not looking for no relationship. Off rip right now. But we could kick it. And you kick it with her all the time, all the time. So fucking, he ain't going to start. He ain't going to be like, yo, you wasting my time. He's, he's, he's going to start catching feelings. Listen to me. And I'm, so, I'm going to start catching about, feelings. I'm, wow, you, he can still catch feelings and you still start control take, yourself, though. Okay, you can still but, be like, yes, but after homie, a while, that's my you're going to want to spend more why time. Why can't you just be friends with somebody? No, I said you could And even if y'all want to do relationship shit, we go on trips. Nah, that's my... But listen, listen, listen. I was in a situation like that. Last year, I was with somebody and from Rip, like I was still dealing with the shit from my ex. And I was like, listen, I don't want a relationship from jump. I told him, I'm like, we just have him for me kicking it. He was like, cool. We started spending time sparsely, sparsely together. And then he started liking my vibe, um, like the person I was and whatever. So he wanted to start spending more and more and more time with me. And it got to the point I was like, nah, if I keep this pace going, he's going to get in a, a position that I don't want him in feelings wise. And that's exactly what fucking happened. And when Something I sat and I talked to him, sweet? of course. I'm an amazing. <laughs> I'm a diamond motherfucker. Of course he's called out. catching feelings. Fuck out of here. But out. you know, but but what I did, I was like, yo, I'm like, I told him like, yo, stop. Like we gotta start spending less time with each other because I don't want you to get in, in a in a space that I can't take you out from. Yep. Because I still know that I didn't want a relationship at that time, but at least I caught the person because they were getting comfortable because motherfuckers like you think it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that shit is wrong. You think it's, it's okay. It is, it only, you gotta communicate. It only takes you six days to really care. After exactly. 60 days, you really care. After Facts. 60 days, you start to really care about the person. Facts. You like, trying to find out. We know lie don't give a fuck. Lie don't give a fuck. Lie don't give a fuck. Friendship, <laughs> though. You can build, you build friendship you can with build, people. You can build friendship. Just because you build you're, friendship you're, with people doesn't mean you got to get into a relationship a, with somebody, you're though. You're making it a sub situation. We're, 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 we're answering your question. That's it. Like, that's it. The question is, if they told you, if they're not looking for a relationship, they can tell you in the beginning, they can tell you in the middle, they can tell you in the end. If I tell you in the beginning and you still want to fuck with me, you putting your own self in it. That I agree with. You're not a victim. You're a volunteer. 
that's yeah, so not, you get your yeah. feelings involved. Exactly. <laughs> like, the exactly. Fuck? But it goes both like, ways, though. It goes both no, ways no, because you can say I don't want to be. You this, and I can but still you can, with you every day. Why exactly. can't I? But nobody said you couldn't. All what right, I'm then. saying is you you can't do relationship shit like Tanya said. You can't tell me what I can't do if I'm telling you. All right, so you can't. But then you can't get mad if somebody feels like you're you're trying to like lure them into a relationship or something like that because they can take what you're doing as the wrong impression. You're giving the wrong impression. That's why you shouldn't say that. You ask questions. You and me. When you when you feel confused, you ask questions. That's whether it's a girl mm-hmm. or a guy. Mm-hmm. If you start feeling confused, then you like, all right, Don't we said confused. we weren't going. Like we said we weren't going to be in a um like we weren't looking for a relationship. So what is going on? You ask questions. You communicate. That's so all it's, it's, about. it's about. You make an ass out of yourself by assuming, but that's why you ask questions and you communicate to see what's going on. Follow your last order. I ain't looking for a relationship. Don't think I'm be so getting into one. You, so all I this, all last this shit you're doing, lie that you you people are not supposed to catch feelings. Are you doing it with one person or you have a rotation? We talking? I got no rotation. <laughs> what are we talking about? Nobody want me out here, man. Ain't no snitching. Ain't no snitching on Brown Holy Let's get to the next topic, y'all. Let's get to the next topic. We we don't talk about being trapped. Now we always hear about how women trap a man or could trap a man or whatever. We're gonna talk about in the other way, the flip side. Is it possible for a man to trap yep. a woman? The fuck? Let me finish the fucking question. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? So, all right, but you got trapped? You want to talk about your No, story? I never got trapped, <laughs> right, but I've, I've had people talk, try. People again. <laughs> all right. Is it possible for a man to trap a woman? We're talking about like pregnancy-wise and everything. So you said, yep, yeah, right off rip before I finish the question. Yeah, shoot. Yes, it's Why do you possible. Feel possible. Why? Because, I don't think like so. you said, I don't there's, a lot, so. there's a lot. There's a lot. First of all, there's guys who be wanting to get chicks pregnant. That's a fact. Like, so at the end of the day, like, I mean, it's up to the woman, to me, to, to you know what I mean, like, cut that off. But you got guys who literally don't want to pull out poke holes and condoms. Like, you, there's some, some dudes out there that do shit like that, and they will try to trap a woman. Well, there's nothing wrong with poking holes and condoms. Yes, <laughs> don't start your shit back, because yes, What's, it is. Nah, it's, it's called the no, li- Listen, <laughs> if I, if, 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 if if I eat the box, I'm going raw. Like, voluntarily or involuntarily, I'll go raw. I, you can't you can't put on a condom. Me, you gotta box. fight because like I don't think I don't think a man could trap a woman. I don't. Hmm. I don't feel it. That's okay. sexist. It's, I mean, you call it what you want. You got the final decision. That is true. <laughs> you know what I'm that saying? is if true. You don't want to know if you that nigga crazy. I knew he lied to me. No, if you knew that nigga crazy or all the shit that you felt, mm. don't get don't have that baby. You can't get trapped into having a baby. Mm. Unless he tie you up. What if you don't? What if you're months? a woman? What if you're a woman who doesn't believe in abortions? That too. Hey, well, give the you, baby you away. Got it. No, 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 no. <laughs> you got to <laughs> even even with that. You got to have some kind and of you, like some kind of like bending power with that. If you don't believe in a in abortion, you still could because do a lot of things don't happen. Too. You, know? you can't you don't tell be me baby. you don't believe in abortions. So you having fornication, motherfucker. They're all sin. God is seeing you. You're fucking without being out of wedlock. You're fucking without being married. And if you kill, they're all the same level of fucking sin. You're going to hell, bitch. Don't tell me. <laughs> don't fucking tell me you don't believe in abortions, but you've been fu- you've been fucking somebody's husband. That's Clearly adultery, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is adultery. Don't even. I am pro-choice, I'm pro-choice, a bitch. I am pro-choice. Listen, we're gonna, get, a bitch. we're gonna have a show on that also. But uh, so how you feel about that? Can a can a woman? be trapped by yes. men you know it's funny no it's caribbean not. men do that they have that if they and i'm telling you like my first fiance they can just you know, get you pregnant but you ain't gotta keep it but that's the tra- you could be on birth control you could okay, do okay but some oh, no, I'm, I'm, gonna give, I'm gonna give you two fucking examples i'm gonna two examples give me two one examples in the past when you and one now trapped. let me see back in the day I I, caribbean it. men love doing this shit like my first fiance his brother told him was like yo you got a good girl get her pregnant for the whole thing like you know people you know you know once you have a child you and that person are attached for life. <laughs> no matter what happens, you were attached for life. That's trapping somebody. That's that's somebody. But who... you gotta have a child. Listen, okay. Assuming I don't believe in abortions, just for assumption's sake, people. There's some men who will get you pregnant just to have you in your life, in their life for for I agree time with and that. time again. I agree. I, I know guys. That I'm on contraceptives right now, and I'm like smart. The, I am. I'm, I'm on contraceptives. I'm on the implant. Google it, bitches. Y'all need to be on implant. But. I like people I've dated. They know I was an implant. I was know I was on contraceptives. Oh, that's good. You can't get pregnant. And then after a while, it's like, so when are you gonna take that thing out your arm? You know, when when mm. when 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 are you gonna come off birth control? I'm like, nigga, what? Mm. I don't want to have kids. Now, like, no, we should think about it because I really like you. That's him saying, bitch, I want you in my life forever and fucking ever. Are you? And that is a form of trapping, motherfucker. Especially if you know I don't want kids. 
for much. If you know you don't want kids, like, you ain't going to have get up and they pulling you down. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What? Yeah, try not to see, the woman, try, try not to see you grow. No, she's talking about, she talk about, she, about sex. She's talking about sex. Like she riding, uh. and he pulling her down. <laughs> you still, you he nah, broke but, your legs. You can't get nah, that. What's that pill child. in the morning? I mean, not done. for nothing. I, I mean, hey, go get for, that pill in the morning. Then. <laughs> he broke your leg. For the most part, I people. Y'all, everybody know about that. For the most part, people think trapping is just from a financial perspective. Like, women trap men because, okay, he's a, he's a b-ball player, you got money, you go to child support for the rest of my life, ah, uh, ah. Uh. But sometimes trapping is just for, just to have somebody around and just to know you have somebody around all the fucking time, to know you'll always be, I'll always be your first baby daddy, I'll always be your first baby mother, no matter mm-hmm. what the fuck. There are people who have that in their head, like, I'll always be the first. Nobody else can come after me. And I'm that's number what they live one. Off of. Mm-hmm. That's what yeah, they live that's, off of. A, that's, that's a trap that for them. Their fucking but, at the end, you can't get rid of me, motherfucker, until I die or you die. Like, that's how people are. That's a form of trapping, bro. How many times you try to trap a chick? I never try to trap a chick. I never try. Is it possible? Um, is it possible for me to trap a chick? For a man. For for a man? Trap a woman. No, it's not possible. Thank you. I had, I, I had a team. lot of I had a lot of women try to trap me, you know? <sighs> I heard all those stories. You know, I, got Danny, I, I'm, really, I'm really pissed off at you. <laughs> <laughs> You think I'm ugly or something? No, I don't, don't think you're ugly. Right, the so fuck at the end of the day, let me finish me. my statement. All right, go ahead. You I had it. a lot of women once upon a time try to try to trap me. I mean, you got to understand, all right? I'm 33, no kids. I'm in shape. My teeth are white. I don't you smoke. Outfits. You know what I mean? I got wild outfits. I got a great job. I got a great hustle. I write songs. I throw parties. What else you do? I got a dope podcast. Uh-huh. I get fly. You understand? So it's like, damn, I want, I want this. I want this, you know what I mean? And I know he he not gonna be my my whole character doesn't show any 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 signs of deadbeat or any signs of fucked up dude. So I got you. a lot of females want that. I see. Because that's the opposite of what they got pregnant. I got you. <sighs> I got so you. now it's like, damn, how can I get black success? I hear you. How can I get Jerry Berry? Jerry. And the answer is you can't. Jerry. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm all Jerry. Jerry. It's all over. Jerry, it's all over. I can get Jerry Berry. <laughs> <laughs> yo, this nigga is retarded. So. <laughs> but back to the, yo, the subject at hand, I don't think it's possible though, man. Why? I'm just saying, because at the end of the day, you got the final decision. You can get G and he can make you believe that he could be a good dad, even everything. If you feel it, don't do it. But what about the type of trap where it's like they... The women speak about this. They support you through the entire fucking pregnancy. When they support you through the entire pregnancy and then switch on you when the baby's born, how can how can I and reverse that? Well, he, he don't want you in the life if he bounce. So. But that's what I'm saying. But he, he could have put up such a facade for the entire time. Like, get me pregnant. Paint this picture. Oh, we're going to be this. We're going to be that, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's true. And then that's when right. it's done, give me stretch marks. Fuck my body up. Give me a baby. Make me a fucking single parent. Like, no nigga going to want you, bitch. But I'm baby daddy. I'm number one. I got you for life. I trap your ass. Maybe we have some other hoes now. Like, that's, that's a man. That, that's that's, that's, that's really that's God doing that to you. Though, because you got at the, bamboozled. At the end of the day, you let a dude do, do, do something permanent. For a temporary situation, that's kind of your fault. Because, but you didn't know it was because, temporary. Yes, you did. Because you ain't got no he ring didn't on your do hand. he didn't do nothing else permanent. He didn't he didn't put no ring on you. Y'all didn't y'all didn't move in. Y'all didn't start no fucking business. Y'all Facts. didn't do nothing else long term besides that baby. That's your fault. If you believed in that, black success. <laughs> 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 That's Yo, JB. Oh. All right, the next part. Next part, real quick. <laughs> I don't know if it's like kind of trap, but it's like, it's just another part of the question I think I just wanted to throw out there. Do you think a baby could save a relationship? Nah, no. Ah, uh, nah. I say fuck no. Mm. It causes way, way, way more stress once another life is involved, another mouth to feed. If somebody's not ready, and we was already beefing make it over even dumb worse. shit. It's a slim chance that sometime a baby could come, and whoever was like the immature party. I guess gets mature now because they see a baby face and yeah. it changes something. Yeah. But for the most part, nah, they're gonna keep doing the same shit. So but a baby could be worse bringing it to it, a situation. Yeah, and it and it depends. Uh, it uh, uh, it uh, depends how the baby came a about. Situation. That too. It depends how the baby came about. A lot of times, females just want something to love. And if they get can't a get a man, if they can't have a man, sometimes a lot of females have babies out of just they want something to love. Mm-hmm. Every I'm gonna take care of my baby. I don't need yeah, no nigga. I don't need no I don't need So they become one of those. So Number one. it depends how the baby came about. Can a baby save a relationship? 
I don't I don't think so. Nah. I think it can make Slim somebody. Chins. It, I think it can hurt it more than help it sometimes because, like we said a couple weeks ago, if a man said he wasn't ready or don't want the actual baby, then you don't get an abortion. You're forcing him to be a father. Mm-hmm. You're mm-hmm. forcing him. You're forcing him his hand. And he probably wanted to wait for whatever so reason. Maybe he had a, a plan to get a better job and do whatever and get a crib. And some people want to have a baby a certain way. Kind of like how they did it back in the day. Babies was really planned out. Hey, we're gonna have a baby when 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 the fucking house is ready and this is done and this is done. This is done. baby now, baby did right all that. now we can bring a baby in. So now you don't force them. Y'all both live separately. Y'all both live in rooms at somebody else's crib. And now you don't. Now y'all being a, a parent in a three generation household in two separate ones. That's that's you know that's stressful for anybody to know that their that their child is not gonna be raised up right or. Or, or freaking now got to struggle. Or you got to struggle too. Because your check was probably just enough to get you one hookah every Friday. <laughs> now you, you can't even refill the shit now. You understand? Know they, they come refill you like, now nah, I'm good. So that, that extra 10, I got I to gotta save that. You understand? Know and that's how people end up beefing and arguing over diapers and, and milk. Mm-hmm. You arguing over $20 purchases. You shouldn't have had that kid. You should have waited. Facts. Just my thoughts. Do you feel? I don't feel like it can save a relationship at all. I do feel like it can make it worse more than it can make it better because then that becomes just a bigger responsibility, more stress. And like he said, if you say you didn't want the baby or whatever the situation is, it just people become resentful. So that's all I got to say. Because you just took my whole answer, but it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I ain't going to blow it. I can blow it. Okay. I can blow it. Yeah. A baby can save a relationship. Can? It can, but only yeah. in one situation. Okay. The situation is there are couples out there who um, one party may want a baby more than the other one. Um, there are men who want kids so bad, but their wife is not ready to have it because, let's say, maybe she want to get a certain, get a degree or something. You know, like she's holding back actually having the kid because she wants to do something first before she has children. And when a man wants a child, it creates a certain void in him, like watching his boys, like go shopping for their kids and watching his his other friends, like first day of school picks coming up. Like that shit hurts people. Like that's people who are legit out here in this world hurt that they don't have kids to, mm. to, to experience that way. Mm. And then when they start factoring shit like age and shit, like, all right, well, I'm, I'm 33, I'm 35, and I know kids, all my friends had kids since their 20s and whatever, whatever. Like, when the fuck is this bitch gonna get her life together for me to do it? And that shit makes people act tough. They got men who would cheat off of that. Like, my wife yeah. is not fulfilling what I want. And that's the only time I believe a baby can save a relationship. If he's about to leave because you don't want to fill that void for him, you can have a baby, might switch him around, and that's all I wanted. I just wanted to have my child. You give me my firstborn, you give me my first son, you give me my first daughter, mm-hmm. and fill that fucking void, relationship will come back. Other than that, If you had a fucked up relationship before, like, you weren't getting along, like, a baby is just added responsibility. Like, a baby is not just a cute face and and, 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 and cooing and crying and crying in the middle of the night. A baby is a fucking responsibility, not just any responsibility, a fucking lifetime responsibility. You owe that child your entire life until the day you die. You understand? So, like, to put that burden on top of us not getting along, you give me something I can't renege. That's a fact. By mm-hmm. blood. you get, I put my bloodline in this. I can't renege that. I can't take it back. How you think that's going to help the situation? And what babies do, they, they change people. I've seen men change. Men are like, I live a certain life, but now I have something to live for. I'm going to straighten up myself because I have somebody or someone to provide for. Mm-hmm. That changes them. They're a bit yeah. more responsible with their spending, how they work, their time, or whatever. But that still don't change the relationship with the mother. Exactly, because so, the relationship, just because you had a baby, baby that they just they're building a bond with that with that child, child not necessarily you because you hear a lot of guys who just like i can't stand my baby mother mm-hmm. or whatever but they're good fathers as mm-hmm. well but that Amazing doesn't mean that, like, that doesn't mean can't i can get be along with that you. bitch yeah, or or females too like you know what i mean it could go both ways because at the end of the day like my responsibility is to that child not you so regardless of what the situation is i don't have to get along with you mm-hmm. i have to get along with that child so that's not going to better our situation. I just have to put up with you. I can be cordial. That doesn't mean that I have to like you. That doesn't mean that I have to like be around you all the time. That doesn't mean any of that because my responsibility is to that, that child or those mm-hmm. children. Point blank period. 
and 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 also you know sometimes a a baby you know I seen a lot of people you know do the wrong things you know they have a kid and they put the wrong thing into into a kid head oh yeah you know your daddy isn't shit or whatever mm-hmm. whatever mm-hmm. and then that also I hurts it that. too like you can't you can't complain about him not being a freaking father if that's what you're promoting. And that's what you that, that's what you're putting out there. Mm-hmm. So why would he want to be a a good a good father? So you, you, you know a, a lot of people just do just do a lot of negative things because they can't have the person or the relationship didn't go the way they wanted it yep. to. And that's a part of life. Sometimes you just got to Some people are selfish. They the don't boat. understand like yeah. you don't even understand that you're hurt in the situation and just because mm-hmm. you're telling the child that oh your father's like this and your father's like that. They that child is going to grow up. Yeah. And when that child grows up, they're going to see the situation for what it is. They going t- they going to be able to tell if mm-hmm. you was just scorn and you just bullshitting they're gonna be able like they're gonna ask questions they Mm. might research they might have a certain relationship with their their father or whatever and then Mm. when they start asking questions and their father like no that's not how it went this is how it go then you looking at the situation and now people are seeing you for what you really are you know what i mean and it's not fair it's not fair at all and the the kid the kid can end up just hating you after that at the end of the day man just have a baby when you're ready don't think it's gonna save a relationship when you're ready to do it that's it right yep All right, we're going to get to the last topic, man. Uh, if y'all haven't noticed, we dropped the number in the comments. We're going to open up the phone lines. Y'all can um, put y'all thoughts in on this topic. We're going to talk about women's hygiene. Mm-hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Please do. Uh, we can go real briefly, like, uh, because us men, what is the pH balance real quick? pH? Yeah. yeah. Vagina is naturally breeze. acidic. It's naturally acidic because semen is basic. So when a man ejaculates in a woman... That's in the base reacts, salt and water. That's why it is. So, I'm, I, I majored in science. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but your pH now has to be, pH has to be acidic. The pH level goes from acidic to base. Just, just for simplicity's sake. Acidic to base. Your p- a vagina has to be acidic. If it's one base, to kill germs. Put, to one stink? to kill germs, yes. To kill no. germs. Oh, asshole. <laughs> it needs to kill germs because that as, germ, acids are strong. They kill germs. And it also needs to, to, to neutralize the semen that gets ejaculated in it. When your pH goes off, it means there's like, there's just extra shit that's in there that's so fucking strong that it, based on certain chemical reactions that happen, it tilts your pH to the side of the skill you don't want it to be and now your body cannot defend against the germs and stuff that's there and when germs start growing when odors come when bacteria <clears throat> breeds so if you smell an odor there's a lot of bacteria that's in there and if bacteria is in your vagina your vagina is acidic we're, we're supposed to kill that shit it's them strong motherfuckers but you got it's the ones you don't want you got, in there you got, so that's what it means when your pH is off All right. you got good flora and you got right. bad flora at the end of the day you have bacteria you have good bacteria and you have bad, bad bacteria. B- bacteria in your vagina so what happens is when there is an overly amount of bad bacteria that's when the yeast infections come and the bacterial infections come and everything like that so she said okay okay <laughs> so the question at hand is basically what they said it's a lot going on down there <laughs> a lot we don't know about we don't care man but uh the question is have you ladies ever had a friend who's Vaginal order didn't smell right. <laughs> and did you say anything? And don't and say wait, you wait, didn't wait, wait. have that friend. This is did. for the ladies out there. Brown holy water call up. <laughs> you ever had a friend? <laughs> Even you, if you wasn't smelling right that day, you came back from the track meet. <laughs> wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Shit, little boyfriend. But hold on. And then the fellas, have you ever had an experience with a stinky coochie girl? <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, did you have an experience with uh, a vaginal order? So. That's the question at hand. Y'all can call up whenever y'all ready. Somebody the numbers call. in the comments. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we asked the ladies first. Y'all ever smelled yet? one of y'all friends that wasn't so fresh that day? It's not even about being fresh. It's just she had BV, like somebody put in the comments. She had bacterial vaginosis. She had shit Vagin- up in... <laughs> This yeah, is it's common. BV. It's Bacteria common. vaginosis. Did she know? Or she was, did she play off like her shit Ain't don't stink? no bitch alive has a distinct like vaginal odor that does not, not know. know. They're just embarrassed. See what yep. I'm telling you? They're Hold so on, y'all. We got our first call. Let's go. We got to get back to it. Brian, holy Bye. water. State your name. And Nadia from Florida. Oh, ah! shit. <laughs> Nadia called us from the hurricane. <laughs> From the fucking hurricane, <laughs> yeah. Are you safe? Is your family good? 
yeah, we in Tampa. We kind of inland, so we good for now. Oh, so good. Like, good. Listen, if your coochie stink now, you got an excuse. Ain't no water out there. We know. Well, <laughs> 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 yo, did you ever had a friend that had like a like a smelly twat or some shit, and you had to check on it or something? I mean, she told me that her her <laughs> significant other, and this is where it comes into play. Like, if you dealing with a real one, if he's able to tell you, like, yo, your discharge. Mm. Don't smell right. Yeah. Like old then, mayonnaise? <laughs> huh? Like old mayonnaise? <laughs> Not old. <listen>. Old mayonnaise. <laughs> I mean, she told me, she's like, listen, he told me, like, yo, your discharge don't smell right. So she went and got herself checked out, and it came up as BV. Now, mm-hmm. I don't know if anyone knows, like, BV is one of those things that is, there's no, they really can't pinpoint what causes BV. Mm-hmm. You know? And there's some women out here that's walking around with it, and they don't know it. And mm-hmm. unless you have a real one that you're sleeping with, and if they can't tell you the truth, then you really don't know. You're just walking yeah. out here Thinking with it's BV normal. with a smelly... BV ain't on contagious, is it? Men can get it, too. Men can get it. Men can get it. You can wow. Get it. Can get it. Uh, niggas y'all out here BV. BV in it, huh? BV? But it's, BV is not... It's not that It doesn't real. show up in men though. Like you don't it shows up in women. It doesn't show up in men. But, so you have to get checked out. All right, yeah. Nadia. Thank you for calling up, Nadia. <laughs> Be safe out there, man. All right. Thanks. Get and, some polar spring bye. and dab that cooch. And listen a little, little bit of <laughs> Hurricane Chris. Nah, but you, you can get BV from different things. You can mm-hmm. get it from not changing your liners, not wearing proper underwear, having a partner who cheats on you, who who's bringing somebody else nasty as germs, mm-hmm. dirty as dick, and sticking it in you all. So Chemical that's how a lot of women's pH goes off. Black, Protect your story? peace and your pH. If you sh- <laughs> you saw that meme. You know what's crazy? I made that shit up, you know. I made that. I swear to fucking God. Hold on, we got another call. Yeah, we can't even get to my stick. Brown, holy water, state your name, gangster. It's your boy Sue here. Well, shit, oh up. shit, bam in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? You ever had a stinky coochie experience? Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 man. <laughs> I, I, I actually, I, I would put a name. I really want to put on blast. Don't do that. Don't no. do that. No, no say no, name. Don't, don't, don't do that. No, don't I'm not, not going to ruin. I'm not going to ruin the show like that. Don't. I'm just going. to It was an awful experience, man. Did and you hit? I, I was I was uneducated because my mama told me that everybody has natural nectar. You know what uh-huh. I'm saying? The little natural natural odor that everybody comes with. So I'm thinking that it was that. Uh-huh. No, nah, man, it wasn't that. It wasn't that. It was extra. It was extra credit. So what you're, <laughs> saying, so what you're saying is that you still, still went through with it. Let me tell you what I'm saying. Let, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me, <laughs> let me hold on. explain why I still hit it. Shoot you on, nasty no, mother, no, son of a bitch. No, man, I, no. <laughs> No, man, because I, I go down there, you know what I'm saying? I hit the left side, you know what I'm saying? You I go kinda, down there? You went table. down there? I didn't touch it when I went down there. I had to make sure it was that. I had to make sure. Mm. You thought it was her feet? You put your nose there. You thought it was her feet? Is it the fr- I didn't put the nose there. I just wanted to make sure it was coming from where I thought it was coming from. Once I established, once I established that it was that, it was, it was the front, not the back. I had a decision to make. I came back up out of there. I was like... Ah, man. Like, man. Then, <laughs> he said I had a decision to make. And then she grabbed it. Yeah, I had a decision to make. I came back up top, man. I looked at her for a second, and then she grabbed the junk, and she threw it in there for me. I was like, well, you already submitted now. How so, she just throw your dick in the garbage like that, son? I couldn't control it. I couldn't control it. You didn't hey, fuck the trash can. Wait, was this about protected sex? It was definitely no, no, unprotected. No, no, you did not you have a condom on your You lying. You did not you have a condom on your ass. rubber genius. You did not have a You got about <laughs> 10 kids, buddy. You didn't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got to holler at you, man. Thanks Yo, for calling Yo, Sue, I appreciate you calling up, bro. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, so. Uh, I'm a rubber genius. <laughs> real quick, before you go, yo. Yeah. My stinky coochie spirit Call up, was, call up. I guess I'm gonna blame my mother again. A <laughs> fat ass. But <laughs> she kinda saved me though. Chick went to use the bathroom and Oh wow. Her fragrance in the air. Like I tell you. That's why I say you can't a chick be going to your bathroom trying to pee and try to spray light so that shit no good, man. Mm. Her pussy, you can't you smell her pussy all through the air. She smell like cat litter. Mm. Mother called me upstairs like boy don't you don't you dare stick your <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why are you she crazy? Like, nah, I don't give a fuck. Make that little nasty girl out this house. And that was it, man. After that, I, 
But you, I live by that rule, though, man. I might be a creep. Girls go to the bathroom, I go in right after them. Like this. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, I smoke back my eyes. That's good to go. That's like smart. on some real That's shit. Smart. Like feminine hygiene is like it's like talking about money. A lot of girls want to uh, very miseducated around it. But my mm-hmm. thing is, you can smell yourself. You like, can smell you yourself. You can do a with swipe. Like, but you can, like if I smell you, you don't smell yourself. If I smell you, you can smell, you, smell you. you. It's levels of the funk. Though. But if I smell if you, some you people smell shit, you. That shit could come cool up, jeans. Cool up. It's some people that's shit that true, can come through the jeans. But that means that there's a problem people, down there. It's some people you gotta wait until you take the panties off, and then that's it's like, too. ooh. So now when the you take the phone. panties off, this how you find out if she know or not. You know what I mean? When you when you take the freaking panties off, you put your fingers in there, you give her a little bit of finger fucking finger pop like this, <laughs> and then you go right to her mouth with the fingers. <laughs> now if she don't lick those fingers, she knew my guy. Is she she, she kind of like, Ugh, what she? But, like, but listen, but listen, 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 hold on, hold on. But my thing is, why would you even want to have sex with somebody and side. you don't hold smell on. Here's fresh the flip down side. there? If she do lick those fingers. <laughs> How nasty is this? Bitch? She want to kiss you. Listen, listen. Okay, you. on some real shit. Like Better back in the day, things. when I was in my teen years, I had my pH go off. But the person I was with, he said he was like, "Babe, we got to go to the pharmacy." And I respected that because that was somebody who clearly cares about me. I'm young. I didn't know about certain things. Like I still was doing shit I wasn't supposed you wasn't to do. Wasn't wiping correctly. I could. I was wiping. I, it could have been. <laughs> I was. I wore my liner too long that day, or I was. The, I went to the creek, and you know we got creeks in Indiana, bathing the fucking dirty ass water. That shit could also throw your pH off too. Mm. A lot of shit could throw woman's pH off without. It's not her necessarily being a nasty bitch, but if you go, so, certain shit could happen to you. You don't even fucking my know. Thing is, but my but thing I had is somebody who was willing to tell me. Like I didn't. I didn't realize it because mm-hmm. one, I'm young. Like I'm oblivious to a lot of shit. I was like in my teens, like seventeen, Condoms eighteen. Condoms throw your pH. That's why I use. That's a fucking dickhead. <laughs> that, but condoms can fuck with your pH too. But if you, if I you, know. I'm trying to look out for them. If you, if you dealing with a proper, a proper man, he would sit and have a certain conversation. He would let you know, baby, let's go take care of X, Y, Z, whatever, whatever. We when we took care of it, we got our little creams, and whatever, and it, and it was cleared up. You know, and I, I appreciated a man like that, and post a nigga who was gonna smell my shit and act like everything is okay, and I put my ass in fucking group chat and tell all the niggas whatever, whatever. <laughs> not even you knowing. You group chat. chat back then. <laughs> you definitely go in a group chat. No group but my thing is, why you chat don't room. like? My thing is, you don't prep if you know you're about to be with a guy. Like you don't, you don't do listen, the necessary. It's some situations. Listen, 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 I'm saying. It still stinks. But then no, I'm, there's but some then people who watch shit and it's good enough to fuck, but they still got an issue. Mm. And then they got but the my after thing fuck is you smell mixed in with issue. this shit. Because you just had sex and that just caused more friction, more freaking Good. bacteria, but, more shit going on. But that's like, where the embarrassment comes in. A lot, fellas, of, people a lot of people don't want to accept You go into that. a girl house to have sex and you go in her bathroom, her wash is like a brick, just leave out. <laughs> <laughs> you could have your pH thrown off by me. using soap. Like that's true. Like that's come true. on, it's all okay. it's, it's not a lot of it's, a lot don't, don't all... matter. No, no, it doesn't. Dove. Everybody no. doesn't. Everybody no. doesn't like react to Dove the same way. Like everybody doesn't react to the same thing. Everybody's body is different. I'm giving these ladies different. a lot of excuses. Some of y'all no, just stink. There's no excuses. Some of y'all just stink. There's there's no ex- I didn't say there's an excuse. At the end of the day, some oh, people baby. have no, strong. But I'm saying that we need we need y'all that men to be like. Brian, let me go to state your name. Who this? Hey, it's Shamira. What's up, Hi, Hey, hun. How are you? What's up Good. with you? You had a friend that had a stinky coochie or you ever had a <laughs> No. Your coochie stink? I feel like when it comes on to a woman's pH balance, um, if you're really in tune with your body, you're yep. supposed to automatically know. Yes, thank you. I don't think you. someone else is supposed to be telling you that your vagina stinks. Absolutely. The minute it, it automatically shows up. You feel a certain way the mm-hmm. minute something is off. So if it gets to the point where you stink, that means you're you're just I don't know you you're nasty at that point. <laughs> what if you just ate asparagus and I heard that Yo, make shut your shut up shut up. I swear shut I heard asparagus so make you. <laughs> I heard asparagus make you. Nah, no, I don't. But girls, <laughs> no, it does <laughs> not. I never heard that. My shorty love asparagus. Oh, sushi. Is she fine? I don't even know why you guys uh, are She's fine, right? <laughs> so you never had no experience with your friends that told you her coochie steak though. Every girl had that experience. I want to know like the in the depth, the the convos of females like, oh girl. Yeah, but so no girl is going to be like, More girl, I smell your vagina. To you told her? Nah, I have a friend. I told her. I had a friend. She was notorious for a stink pussy. And I told her. And she was like, 
But she she acted like I was trying to diss her. And mind you, we having a, it was just me and her having a private conversation. I told mm. that bitch, like, your shit, you got to fix your shit because niggas was talking about it. And she was like, ah, da, 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 I ain't got to do shit. These niggas, whatever. I'm like, you know what? Go around. Go go there. Stink pussy bitch. But you that's different if a guy is like, if if niggas is coming to you like, yo, your friends, such and such, whatever. But if you discover it for yourself, I just feel like. Like, my nigga, like, you you not paying attention to your body. Like, as a woman, even as a teenager, and I'm not, it, it's nothing, because I understand, like, when you're a teenager, some people, they just don't say anything. <clears throat> all right, Smart. Thank you for calling up, all right? No problem, bye. Later. But I understand people don't say anything, but my thing is, you should be trying to get in tune with your body. That's how you, you know what I mean? That's how you should be maneuvering. But that's like but that's, a person that's with bad breath. They never know they got true. bad breath. But you how know how you, niggas just be all around breathing. Like, but niggas breath. who, but Everybody then, know this nigga breath stink. Probably told a nigga breath stink. <laughs> nigga breath still stinking forever. True. But like, how do you like, ask the, for help though? Like, so got some girls who like, go with no help. I'm going to the, yeah, I'm going don't to the doctor. Me. I'm not but asking my friends. You know talking about me. But that's the thing. Like, some people going to the doctor. I'm Researching on it. Yo, Google is my best insurance. friend. That's the, people a lot don't of people's jobs don't come with that type of insurance. They got over-the-counter shit. I think it's just they got mean. mad shit. Well, another another call. call. No, we talking about Perry. Oh, everybody. Call. 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 Right, Holy Water, state your name. Hi, this is Aaliyah. Hi, Tanya. Hi. <laughs> you guy Do your coochies thing? <laughs> Hell no. Oh, okay. so your Hell no. Your friend's coochie head stink? I I won't call her a friend. I will call her. Let me hear the story. What Let's to go. call her? <laughs> anyway, um, now hold your pants. She was my stylist. Oh. So you know, back in Guyana, Tanya, we you know we would go to, you know, get your friend do your hair or whatever, and we would uh -huh. like sit between their legs. Oh, oh I, wow. I, I, I hope you wasn't getting box braids. Oh my god, I, I had the worst experience. <laughs> <laughs> you play she all day. Six hours in that cool thing. That's sewage. <laughs> and I it? went to my friend. It was bad. Oh my god. Let me tell y'all. <laughs> I went to this girl to get my hair done. Mm -hmm. Mind you, I sit in between her legs. I'm like, what is this? Mind you, it don't even smell like sex or anything. This thing smell like. Shit, that's what it smelled like. It smelled like maybe it's her ass. I'm like, oh, that she means she washing. never. She not washing. Nah, she just had a combination. And I'm, asked, I'm like, what is this with, smell with like? What, what is smelling like Joint that? Forces. But hold and on, she's playing it off like she don't know. You still, but you, us, are you, but you know she knew, right? You still sat there and got your hair yeah, done. She knew. Though, right? She knew, right? I'm telling you, they. No know hell, no, I didn't get my hair done. <laughs> I took my money back and I was like, bye. Oh, you let sis do your hair because I thought she was stinky. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Next but time, I had to let her know. I'm like, no, sis, you got to do something about that because that pum pum not smell right. You got to put a tic tac in it. You got to put a tic tac in it. Pum pum dead, girl. <laughs> Pass it all. Dead. Thanks for calling, Evan. Thank you for calling, girl. Thank you for calling, girl. <laughs> Yeah, she had a combination platter, man. Combination that shit is crazy. You see, a lot of people be having, like, the combination. And you, you got to know. Nah. If your ass think this, they're saying, you know, you got to sh shower, man. You know, shower, man. And a lot shower. of people's jobs don't come with that type Whoa. of insurance. Yeah, where they like, can and go even to when you wash, though, want. like, I, Yo, I do a swipe. I do a swipe when I wash. Double check. You pull up Brad Holy Water, yo. Brad Holy Water, who this? Who this? Who this? Who this? On the line. Well, fuck you too, then. Stay with me. Stink pussy, bitch. <laughs> yeah, how you cursed out, whoever that was? That was crazy. Yeah, call back, you little Metro PCS. Now, nah, yeah, call up, though. Crazy, That's what I'm talking man. about. Show the love. Talk about your experience. I want to hear more dudes. So oh, another angle. We got Cynthia Water yeah, now, too, that be working on your PhD. Let's get this right. right. Brown Holy Water, who this? Hey, what's up? It's Tiff. Hey, hey Tiff. Tiff. Which Tiff? Tiff Tiff? Hey, Tiff. Tiff. Yes, Tiff, Tiff. Tiff. Oh, shit. Oh, it's Tiff Tiff. 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 She be writing the whole essay on my freaking status here. Let's go, hey, Tiff. Tiff. Ain't nobody reading this, girl. So tell us, do yeah. your uh, coochie stink or no? Hell no. I don't play that. Your I'm friend's not. coochie stink? Yo, no girl is going to admit. How is everybody innocent? Nobody's going to admit. You know what's crazy? What? If anybody, well, whoever's like probably tuning in or whatever, there was this one chick. She wasn't a friend or nothing like that, but... She was pretty friendly with everybody, and she was known for stinking, like, bodily odor and everything. B.O. So, mm. dudes would, like, one like one dude told her, like, yo, you know, you kind of, you know, foul smelling. And she was just like, oh, it's not me. But every function, she was always, she always liked to act like a dude, and she was smelling like, 
a nigga that was doing 36 hours in OT on the Belt Parkway in 120 <laughs> degree weather. And she and she was all she was funk. That's the spot. And one thing is like it depends on also what you eating or like drink yes. your water. Yeah, drink you your water. Here, that's sipping henny so much. Want to be that henny exactly. Shit. You drink henny, that, sis. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with sipping henny, but if you constantly sipping henny, like you're not a nigga at the end of the day. Yeah, mm-hmm. whatever we whatever we eat and drink as women, mm-hmm. it's gonna come out. Like y'all gotta, you know, mm-hmm. eat your yogurt. Drink yes. your water. Yes. Your and, and y'all got you and y'all gotta stop cheating because when Drink when your, your when your side boo is going raw and your main dude is going raw and, the, and then your waist baby is going raw. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's just 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 too much. Yo. Like one one just raw and one with a condo. If you exactly if That's you going raw with multiple dudes, chicks need a your man. pH yeah. will balance. Well, your pH will go yeah. off yes. balance. Single single chicks stink. Single chicks stink. Today out there sleeping. All the chicks, all the chicks that say they're not fucking think like a man, they stink too. We not doing that, bro. We not doing that. Single chicks, they just all the chicks that say like a man. They all stink. They you tell me all you Steve Harvey chicks, y'all all stink. Talking about you motherfuckers, they think like a man. No, you stink. You work like a man, motherfucker. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. First of all, I'm single and I don't stink. I don't Single chicks is funky. Drink your water, These niggas can throw up your pH, man. <laughs> Not only brown holy water, but the smart water too. Nah, drink that brown, man. All different spurs. Single chicks be the one trying to haul them shake and all this shit. Nah, y'all mother, y- y'all doing a lot. Yo, 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 man, I'm gonna man, man, call them. Yo, man, no, time out. What do y'all do? Yo, another call. We got another call. No, because be a man. first of all, we're not man. gonna do this, Jerry. We're not on, gonna do this, go. Jerry. Brown holy water. Who this? This is Asia. Hi, Danielle. Hi. What's up, baby? Uh oh, Asia. <laughs> now, a lot of people calling up having stories about other people, but nobody is talking about themselves. So, so tell me about you. Talk about you. Talk about myself. How, how bad do your no, coochie stink? stink? Tell us, Asia. All right, my coochie don't stink right about now. <laughs> <laughs> tell us about the throwback Thursday. Let's go, Asia. Well, I ain't got no shame in that, okay? Let's go, right, Asia. Nobody know you. Go ahead. Talk about that thing. All right, now, like Danielle said, as a woman, you know. When you're not smelling right, okay? You can smell yourself. Yep. And your discharge be all thick and creamy, you know? Uh-huh. Bend down your um, bend you down your like, um. Looking like cream cheese. Bend down the volume in, in the back. But my husband, he don't be caring all the time. Mm. <laughs> so your husband's just a nasty nigga. Don't care your coochie stink. <laughs> Shout him out. Shout him out. What's his name? Shout um, that nasty nigga also, out, man. Daniel, like you said, before you have sex, you're supposed to smell yourself. You don't just exactly. do anything with people just smell you. No. You go but to that's what happened with all these first, girls. Like, all these you know? girls still live at home with their mama, so the bathroom be occupied. They can't even shower before they go fuck. <laughs> you understand? You <laughs> I got a bird bath in the kitchen. Mama, you don't belong. I'm getting none of this. <laughs> exactly. That's what I said. That's what I said. If you live at home, you shouldn't be fucking. You should be working, saving the move out. Exactly. Exactly. We on the same page. Thank you for Asia. calling us. Thank, Thank you, Coochie. Asia. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> make sure you put a little perfume on. And that's the problem too. Y'all be trying to put the cheap perfume to cover it up. Every girl makes it worse. Makes it worse. Makes it worse. Every girl got a bottle of love spill. They try to rub on their no. coochie. No, it's dog. like being dirty and just putting like some like saying, perfume like, or cologne on me. over your. Y'all hear yo, men? Men better pull up and tell a story about some stuff. Every nigga got a stink coochie whole story. Bag. Like everyone knows, I have my little, my little gold sparkly bag and all my pictures in my bathroom pics. Get your whole bag. Get you some Summer's Eve wipes in that bitch. Get you some liners in that bitch. Get you some fucking deodorant in that bitch. And wipe is the, ain't no it's summer well we finishing the summer now but y'all be at work all day working eight hours straight like wipe that shit off son like don't be having that bacteria going coming out and going back up and then fucking your shit up like no and then my thing is if you deal, if you're dealing with a guy or something like that like if you don't have time to get in the shower like fuck that if i'm coming to your house and we're having sex you got a washcloth like or something like you gotta just make a sure i want yes. a whole towel mother but you gotta like, make sure like I just, i'm just saying yeah. like as a person i want, oh, want somebody to cheating. tell me that <laughs> no yeah. you're not fucking want me after to tell me like, like, day. we're not, yo, we're not fucking don't after smell right. I, i've been working you the entire day i'll fuck you after the entire day i don't give but that's different. that's different that's different you say so that's different that's different though that's different that's different though that's different if you don't have a title, you should always be fresh. You're trying to get a man. What are you doing? You are trying <laughs> yeah, you to get a man. First of all, they're single by choice. So they're not washing the coochie by choice. There's no such <laughs> thing as single by choice. <laughs> hey, yeah, you are go. single because what you want, don't want you. How you doing? Lack <laughs> like success. 
Jerry Berry. Yo, That's y'all call. We taking one more call, y'all. Y'all call. One, take more, call, one more y'all call. Y'all call up. Come talk to me. I want to do. I want to do. Tell me a funny, stinky story. Come talk man. to me. Come talk to me. Call. You yeah. can talk to me, motherfucker. I've had. I've had bros tell me they literally smelled the chick's vagina and they had sex ladies? with them. How about ladies? Hold on. Have you ever smelled a nigga nuts and it just was stink? Yes. You talking about women? Not stink. No. It smelled like nuts. It smelled like nuts. Nah, it's not stink like nuts, man. I never had a, a, a nigga that was nasty. Thank God. I never had like some shit where it's just like, oh my God. But you, like, you, can basketball basketball you, you can smell basketball nuts. You can smell basketball nuts. nuts. Oh, yes. You can smell basketball nuts. I'm, I'm a basketball nuts. I'm a You're slap. like a professional I'm sniffer. Ch- I'm a, I am a professional <laughs> sniffer. <laughs> 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 yeah, my nose is super Wait, sensitive. Is a, that's our last my call right here, y'all. Nose is nasty. I smell cool. everything. Last, last call. Hello? Who is? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Who this? Hi, Stephanie country. Montanez. I know hi, you Stephanie. stink. Tell me about hi, it. Hi, hi, Stephanie. <laughs> Tell me about the fun. Hi, honey. You smell like a burrito, right? Think. No. <laughs> <laughs> you smell like a burrito. You're no, disrespectful. Um, <laughs> no, one day coming from work, it was a long day, work, school. I was going to see somebody. Um, but I was I was smelling myself. I was like, mm-mm, not happening. I need to go take a Your shower. Arms she she said, everything. I was oh. just, it was a long day, school, work. I was sweating. It was just crazy. So I was like, no, I can't go see this dude like this. And he was like, no, come. You could come um, take a shower. I always carry stuff with me. Deodorant. Oh, Respect, so you, the Respect the Stephanie whole bag. Respect the whole bag. Stephanie was ready to hold um, Listen. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't call it, I don't call it a whole bag. I, I call it preparation. It ain't a whole bag. It's a preparation. You got to prepare. Said, you listen, know you have to prepare. Y'all not asking the right questions. When you going to go sleep with somebody, man, that's what you was doing? Going to sleep with somebody, man. Oh, he was okay. my dude at the oh, time. Oh, he was your dude. Well, okay. I mean, yes, he was my dude at the time. Well, you I mean, mean you, you you renege that? You about to renege that? Because we weren't in a relationship. Yes, yeah, so we other, okay. So it was, it was, it was a, a public right. dude. Oh, he was telling you that he didn't want a relationship. He was doing a relationship. He was a public defendant. It was, it was an understanding. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to the understandings. No, huh? I said shout out to understand this. But go ahead, tell about your whole bag. <laughs> well, whatever. I had everything ready. When I get there, he just wanted to get it in. And I was like, nah, I need to take a shower first. He was like pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. And then I was like, nah, I gotta go. That's it. Like I had I had I went home, took a shower. When I called him to come back, he was with somebody else. So fuck it. Wow. Like, that nigga lit. Wow. You he blew it, sis. You blew your shot. There's some females who will go all the way and don't care about that. They won't go wash themselves. They won't stop in the bathroom. They won't and that's why they're single. They won't that is why they're single, Stephanie. By choice. Hey. They I mean, made the choice to not so wash. Stephanie, do you, but that's my story. <laughs> do you eat huh? McDonald's? <laughs> I don't eat McDonald's anymore. <laughs> don't eat McDonald's, okay? Stephanie, thank you for calling up. Thanks I for calling appreciate up. you. The, no. French, the French fries are all right, though. <laughs> Yo, it's been a good show. We about to wrap it up, man. Uh, real quick, throw out your shout outs. Uh, bad girl, what you got for us, man? Cookie, 347-731-8860. Get your car washed next weekend, because I think he's done this weekend. Get your power wash. That's it? That's it? What about your dog collar? What about dog collar? This is from Fashion Nova. Everybody oh, knows then we don't talk about Fashion, fashion Nova. Nova. That's what I'm saying. Ba- uh, it's a bad girl. Uh, Tomboy, what's up? Prince. Shout out to everybody who no, joined Prince. in. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Asia for calling in. Shout out to my sisters for being. Shout out to Candace for being a real MVP this week. Like you know, just shout out to you. Shout out to Kiara and Leslie for putting up with my bullshit. Um, just shout out to everybody who who joined in. I see some new um people joining in. So just mm-hmm. thank you for tuning in and listening to our craziness. Um, real quick, don't forget to subscribe. To the uh, podcast app, leave a review. Please help us get ranked. You fuck with us and you like us, mm-hmm. give that extra push. It takes 10 seconds, 15 seconds tops, like my best career sex night. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> just put a quick review up. Give us five stars or definitely give us five stars. I know y'all fuck with us. And just let us know that you appreciate it so we can get ranked and we can start taking over this mm-hmm. podcast shit. Um, shout out to my partner. It's her birthday. Happy birthday today, um, Terry. Uh, other than that, again, thank you for rocking with us. We see you next week. Handsome 15 Instagram, Live Brown Facebook. Follow us, Brown Holy Water. We out.
Black oh. success, take us out. Hold black on, success. real quick, Black. Ma, you joined mad late. Like, how do you just <laughs> join in? Like, we're over. How do you just join in to Brown Holy Ma. Water just now? We, we but go ahead, Black. Yo, Craig said, actually, it's 28 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Craig is funny. Yeah, my man. Yo, oh. um, I'm going to close out with this. Listen, Ma, a lot of times, you know, people going to hate on you. Mm-hmm. You know, this is just what's going to happen. They're going to hate. They're going to try to put you down. They're going to try to say negative shit. You understand? And, uh, a lot of times, our problem is we put out too much information. We tell everybody all the good things happening. Hold some Facts. of that stuff in. Facts. Hold some of that Facts. stuff in. Because if you don't tell them to what's Jerry. going on in your life, guess what? They don't got nothing to prey on your downfall for. You uh-huh. understand? They shouldn't know if you sh- if you crib shopping. They shouldn't know you applying for some big job. Get the job and then tell them. You know what I mean? And then you can put it out there. You understand? A lot of us, um, all, the, all, the, all, all the hatred and negativity coming our way Half the time be our fault. You understand? Mm-hmm. Keep it to yourself. Brown Holy Water Podcast every Sunday. I go by the name of I Am Black Success, a.k.a. Jerry Berry. $20 <laughs> for a picture with me. We out of here. <laughs> Preach, you can play the song. You already know what Let it is. Let me take you out. Let me take you out. Subscribe, y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe. <laughs> go to that the that review, review, iTunes you know? podcast. I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. It's yeah. about that time. Yeah. Hope you tuned in as we go live. Got back. Tanya, Georgie, and Skyline Black Hold it down for the guys Soaking some real shit, grab a cup, catch a vibe Every Sunday at 7, we getting you baptized Giving out all these lessons or facts, no lies Supporting the movement that caps on the rise I got that brown, holy water wherever I go Make sure you like, share, comment, and follow Talk, drink, share the link Don't forget to let us know what you think I got that brown, holy water Come get that brown, holy water We got that brown Holy water, come get that brown. Holy water, I got that brown. Holy water, come get that brown. Holy water, we got that brown. Holy water, we got that.